Hello there, it's me, Sorry here again, and today I thought that I'd just talk to you a little bit about the Gemini A4 die-cutting and embossing machine from or by Crafter's Companion. I have started working with this one this week, so I haven't been using it for that much, but I must tell you that I started off making a video not having tried it, and when I die-cut or embossed it, rather, this one, because it comes with a 3D embossing folder. I'm not sure if I can find it here right now, but it's an amazing embossing folder. Here it is, actually. And as you can see, the pattern is really beautiful. And I just took this sort of heavy weight cardstock, put it in there, run it through the machine, and the end result was this. And I was absolutely amazed. I was blown away by it. And not only is it beautiful in the front, but in the back as well. So you could choose to use either the embossed side or the debossed side. And what really struck me as amazing was the fact that the paper didn't break. But now that I have had the time to study this a little bit, I can see that there are some holes here and there. But still, there ought to be holes somehow because it has been pressing through so hard through this paper and getting this really 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 beautiful result so and then i tried working with another 3d embossing and cut um, folder and i just put a piece of paper in here like so run it through and the end result was this and it does a really nice job with this one as well and everything is just easier to just pick out or just put out Ah, I'm lost for words now, aren't I? But still, you can see there's a really nice result there. You can get a really nice texture with this embossing and die cutting machine. So, I have started playing with some... I ought to have another one, but I'm not, I don't think that I can find it. This is a die that I have used from Spellburners to cut this one. And I must say that I have struggled quite a lot using just a regular Big Shot machine. I love my Big Shot machine, don't get me wrong. But having run this through, was it once or perhaps twice, back and forth, I ended up getting all of these swirly bits out. And I didn't have to struggle that much to get, uh, get rid of the excess papers. So I must say that this is a really, really, really good machine to get your hands on. And I have started working with a card. And this is a beautiful fox stamp. I just couldn't resist it. And it's, it's from Studio Light, I believe. And then I have made this paper in the background. I have stamped some snowflake stamps there with some blue ink. I think it was Broken China Distressing from Tim Holtz and uh, Ranger. And uh, so I stamped it there with some Nelly Snellen stamps. And uh, afterwards I glittered them a little bit, so there's a little bit of sparkle going on there. And then I die cut this snowflake piece of paper with a die from Gummi Orpan. There's a little bit of stitching around the edges there. I also die cut this piece with another die from Gummi Orpan. It has got a scalloped stitched edge and I like it a lot. So my first thought was to make a top folding Z fold card or an upright Z fold card because th th those, those are the kinds of cards I, I tend to like. They are sort of fancy but not too hard to make if you know what I mean. So my thought was to go there something with something similar to this. And the thing is that I need to glue this one to the front piece, front panel, and then I'm able to glue these together, leaving this one, this bit open here. And then I'm going to glue a flap here so I can chuck the flap into the opening. And then I can just close the card when I'm sending it to somebody and it can be standing at the recipient's place. I also wanted to show you this result. Let's see if I can put something black underneath. I die cut this with a die from Marianne Design. It's a beautiful border. So I run it through once and I let the die sit in while I was actually adding on some light blue ink with an ink blending tool. So I have something blue to pick up and keep it cohesive with the theme of this fox. 
So now more, all I'm left with is actually deciding on what kind of a quota or statement I want to put on this. Perhaps I should die cut a Christmas saying or something similar, or perhaps stamp something there. But before I leave you, I just wanted to show you that I started off making this one. I, I wanted to make something white and I was thinking that perhaps I could have the white. Let's say this is white altogether still. And I tried making it fit to this card, but somehow it feels like it's getting too busy. And especially now that I have added on some blue there, it's getting a bit busy, I think. What do you think? I'm not sure. You know, I'm just sort of bewildered. I don't know what to do with this, but... If I turn it around like this, it gets a little bit calmer. And yet I'm getting some texture here, so it, it's creating some interest for the eye, isn't it? But I believe that I will still go with this sort of clean and simple look. Because I sort of fancy that more. But don't you love that border dye there? It's just beautiful. So that's where I'm at right now when it comes to crafting. Somehow, when I have this much to do, I mean, I'm working full time and I have my business, the Sari Stamping Studio and everything, I don't really, I have to struggle when I start cra crafting. I must admit that. So it, it isn't the optimum, the best time of my, in my life to start crafting, I must say. But still, I keep falling in love with these funky stamps and st embossing folders and dies and everything. So can't resist sharing this with you so take it for take it as for what it is and i hope you have a crafty time in front of you bye bye